Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and I'd like to talk about why you need fluoroscopy to perform intraosseous orthobiologic injections. So the concept of an intraosseous or into the bone injection for knee arthritis is that what happens in the bone uh, happens in the cartilage and vice versa, meaning the two are one connected tissue. And this is largely based on multiple studies that show that the only really reliable finding that correlates with knee pain is actually a bone marrow lesion and not things like meniscus tears, not things like cartilage loss. Hence, we now have treatments like subchondroplasty where the bone cement is injected precisely into these painful bone marrow lesions to stabilize these small areas of fracture and reduce pain. Because the thought is that these are small areas of microfracture. Felipe Hernigau was the first in Paris to inject bone marrow concentrate to treat bone diseases like avascular necrosis and fracture nonunion. He's also been injecting intraosseous for NeoA patients with good reported results. We began injecting bone with culture expanded stem cells and bone marrow concentrate in 2006 and have recently completed a case control trial of knee osteoarthritis patients where we injected bone marrow concentrate both inside the joint and into the bone versus just inside the joint. And the bone plus joint patients actually did better if they were under 60 years of age rather than just injecting inside the joint. And our focus has been in that study and always precisely injecting contrast under x-ray guidance into these bone marrow lesions and then chasing that with whatever orthobiologic like bone marrow concentrate or whatever culture expanded cells or PRP that we're putting there. Now, more recently, some European authors have begun injecting bone marrow concentrate kind of blindly, either doing it under ultrasound or just using a little fluoro, but not using any contrast, just jamming in a lot of volume. Hopefully that'll make up for not accurately targeting these lesions. However, will this work? Can you be less accurate and just inject more stuff? So this is a patient uh, who I saw this week who has these bone marrow lesions. And these are the, the white areas right here, right here. You can see they're kind of right underneath the joint. And on the sagittal, they're here and they're here. So I want to target uh, those specific spots. And you can see I have two micro trocars in here on this patient to try to target those very specific areas. Now, I'm gonna show you a series of contrast injections, and this is nothing unique. I see this every day. In fact, this, over this two week period, I'll probably do 10 of these bone injections. And so you can see here that there's a little bit of contrast right there. And as I inject a little bit more, you can see the contrast goes right here. Now, the problem is, my lesions are kind of down here, so I'd like to get stuff to go down there. And regardless of how much volume I put in here, I can't get that to change. So I redirect my needle, uh, and now my needle is, my little micro trocar is going down. And you would think that I would now start to get uh, the uh, orthobiologic to flow in that area. But when I inject, it doesn't. When I inject, it goes right back up to this area, and it doesn't go where I want it, so I go a little deeper. Uh, so I go a little deeper, and I redirect again, and it's still going right here as I inject, and in fact, you can see it's getting ridiculous now because I've injected so much volume that you can even see that my contrast is going outside the bone. It's going outside the bone primarily because it's now going into the vasculature outside the bone that connects in with the bone marrow space. So regardless, as much as I tried, I was not able to get a lot of stuff to go right here where I wanted it to go. So in conclusion, injecting without contrast or ultrasound risks missing the lesion you're treating, which is probably a big deal. In turn, this likely risks suboptimal results due to a suboptimal technique. So again, we can't do what's convenient for us because we don't happen to have ultrasound or we don't happen to have fluoroscopy. 
uh, or access to those technologies, we need to do what's best for the patient. Thanks so much uh, for watching and have a great day.